tropes and cliches. Are they the same thing and are they always bad? As defined in the dictionary, a trope is a significant or recurrent theme, a motif. From this we see that a trope is an element of either a genre that establishes what that genre is by being recurrent within that genre, or an element commonly used to convey a specific idea, concept, or feel. Tropes, therefore, are occurrent in all forms of media and are not inherently good or bad, but are tools in our use to convey what we want to convey and paint the pictures we want to paint. The hero is a trope. The evil lord is a trope. The quest is a trope in much of fantasy. Dragons can even be a trope. Advanced technology is a trope in many types of science fiction. And robots rising up in rebellion because they've gained human-like intelligence, or what is truly to be human, is a trope in science fiction. The unsuspecting individual being the criminal is a trope in many types of mystery, or not turning on the lights is a trope in many types of horror. Many things can be a trope, and it's how they use them that make them good or bad. Now going beyond that, what is cliché? As defined in the dictionary, cliché is a phrase or opinion that is overused and betrays a lack of original thought, or a very predictable or unoriginal thing or person. Look at this definition, we see a cliché can be and is a unoriginal overused form of a trope. For say, you could have a trope which is a band of individuals in school who first don't like each other but learn to like each other and work together for the common good and rise to be the heroes. But then that could be done over and over and over again and be done in a way where it is not caring about what the plot would imply, the characters would imply, or any of that, just what the trope itself is to the point that does not fit and is overused and that would be cliché. Also, something might feel cliché to an individual because they've seen it many times, but it's not necessarily cliché. For example, someone could have read many stories where a group of individuals are in a school and learn to work together. So when they read, finally read Harry Potter, they think it is cliché, even though it is one of the key works starting that trope. Therefore, it is not cliché as it was not overused or unoriginal when it was created. But looking more into that description of cliché, if we look at the origins of cliché, the word comes from a French word that means to stereotype. The definition of stereotype is a widely held but fixed and overly simplified idea or image of a particular type of person or thing. Looking closely at this, we see it's very similar to that idea of cliché. Once again, it's overly simplified and fixed. So, if we take cliché as a stereotype of a trope, a stereotype of a trope would be when the trope is portrayed in a fixed way, not caring what the plot would imply or the characters would imply, and just done as it was done somewhere else, and therefore overly simplified down to just its base elements that might not make sense without the external elements, and might just be unimportant not convey the original point of the trope when oversimplified. An example of this is the death of the mentor or loved one trope. These can be very well done when done right and can show one character why they care about this cause that maybe they didn't care about originally. Let's say we have a husband and wife that due to circumstances get caught by a dark empire when they're doing the job as they work together. Now, rumors are spread saying that the wife betrayed them to the Empire, and that's how they got captured. But that seems to contradict with the wife's personality, as she always wanted the world to return back to its glory days, before the Empire. And that would contradict with the Empire. Also, the fact that she's captured in countries too, but that capture leads to her death. This leads her husband, who did not care about what the Empire was doing, and did not care to return the world back to where it once was, now designed to return the world back to where it once was, even though he doesn't think that what it once was, 
and trying to overthrow the empire because it killed his wife and said that she betrayed him. But he does not believe that that could be how it was and therefore wants to fulfill his wife's dream and do that. And you could do this with any numbers of characters. You could swip, swap the, you could swap that story around and have it be the other way. The husband wanted that way and the wife is the one who survives. It all depends on how you write the story, making sure it fits and that the characters are full of flesh out characters who are real characters and not just lamps. Now, I often said bad trope is sometimes called the woman in the refrigerator, an odd name. Now, this trope is a stereotype or cliche of that previously mentioned trope. This is where the death of a female character, usually a wife or girlfriend, leads a male character to do something. And often, the female character is not mentioned at all, or even or importantly, after that initial death. They are not really a fully developed character. An example of this could be, so some man's wife gets murdered, so he becomes a vigilante, who then runs around beating up everyone, and sleeping with every woman in the town. And his wife is never mentioned ever again. He does actions that are, that are contradictory to his love of his wife and nothing seems to really fit. That would be an example of that bad trope or truly is a cliche or stereotype of the original trope. Tropes are a complex thing and it depends on how you use them, whether or not they're good or bad. They are a tool. So use them wisely and use them to good ends. Like and subscribe.